Hello, this is Gaz7, and today we're going to be looking at how to make custom mini-maps for Super Mario 64 DS. And now you can see I have my DS ROM, and you're going to need the DS editor, of course. And you're also going to need uh, these four files here. And if they look familiar to you, then you're right, because you just kind of put them into your ASM patch template and the source. Now, it's kind of optional. On these two, you can kind of decide on which one you want. The save minimap.cpp replaces all spe level specific minimap changes, which I highly, highly suggest that you use. And free minimap, it disables the level specific minimap sizes. And so, for some reason, I think it might only let you do 256 by 256 images or maybe it'll let you also do 128 by 128 images I'm not entirely sure on how it works but all I know is like I just use 256 by 256 images so I just recommend that you put those both in your source folder and if you know if you've watched on how to patch Super Mario 64 DS tutorial then you should know how to do that if not then go ahead and watch that and you just put these files in there and make run and in, make an insert alright so now let's get into the actual minimap making alright so once you open your ROM you're going to want to go to the level on which the minimap you want to make for and you're going to want to actually not move at all so open the level don't move at all click this to not show any of the objects hit display options top ortho okay and now use the page up and page done you can if it won't let you do it you can just do a simple left click here but it's important that you don't move whatsoever and then once all of your minimap is in view hit screenshot and raw that PNG Now I'm going to open that with paint.net. And now I'm going to make and we have a 1030 1073 by 633 image. So I'm actually going to take my 1073 subtract it by the height divide that by 2 and that gives you 220. What we'll do when, with that number I'll show you later. But let's select 633 by 633 Let me use this tool and remember that number from earlier well may let's drag this all the way till it's uh, 220 all right there we go if parts on the sides get cut off, then you can uh, zoom in or zoom out in the editor. But it's important that your selection here is going to be perfectly centered. It must be perfectly centered. That's what we're going for here. And then once we get that done, we could crop. So crop to selection. You see it's 220, 0, 6, even by 633. That's important. That's perfectly centered. Crop to selection resize the image 256 by 256 or 128 by 128 depending on what size you want to implement and there we go we have a scaled down version of that then I'm going to save that as a BMP file and new.bmp just hit OK but we're not done yet we actually need to go into GIMP in order to index our image. So open up GIMP. All right, now that we have GIMP loaded up, we can just drag our BMP file into it and go to image mode indexed and make sure that's 256, hit convert. And now we want to hit export as new.bmp, hit replace, export. All right, now that's our image. Now all we need to do is uh, go to our minimap editor here so minimap and hit a uh, 
import new.bmp. All right, and it should have did its thing. And now you're going to want to set a background color. So I'm going to hit this thing and I'll set that as background. Okay, and now I'm going to just do that for now. Now I'll minimize that, or no actually, I'll keep this open here. And what I'm actually going to do is use a ruler here to kind of scale how these compare so I can zoom this out to make it look just like this. So I'm going to measure that and that's going to be All right, and that looks like they're the exact same size. All right. So what I'm going to do here is uh, in the objects, I'll enable them. Make sure you don't move the camera or anything and add an object, player. All right, so I clicked over there. I'm going to set that to zero, zero, zero. And now if I click it, it should be highlighted in yellow. It's kind of hard to see, but it's at the bottom there. And uh, kind of like want to line these two images up so that they're um, exactly at the same size. Place another player object. And really, you can tell that measurements are critical here. And it's very, very important that you get them exact. So I'm going to set this at 0, 0, and 0. Must, that must be at 0. And I'm going to put this out all the way till it should be where the edge of the window is. And what you want to do with this number here is take that number, go into your calculator, Multiply by 2, multiply by 0.1, and this will be your magic number here. So go to MISC and put in your magic number, which is 3.08. And go to the Minimap Editor. I can move it now. And 3.08. Then once you do that, click Save. And let's see how it looks in game. All right, now once I'm in my level, you can see that my minimap is fully working. Now it is a bit different, like you can see this whole section here. I actually had to go back and add that and move the mouse wheel because I just remembered when taking the minimap, I forgot to move the mouse wheel in order to show the whole thing. But that's all I really changed. I just like imported the image again. No, no biggie. I already got the magic numbers, so that was fine. But you can see that everything is working quite nicely, and Yoshi lines up perfectly on the minimap as he does in the level. Like, to just about every little detail. And if he is a bit off for you, then that means you didn't measure something right, or completely correct. But you can see here that it's all good for me. And I should also mention that you need to delete the player objects. And if you don't, then you can get some weird results in game because those are duplicates of the player and so they can really mess things up. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully you've learned something and are now able to perfectly get your mini-maps in the game. And I'll see you all later.